Craig Smoke. First time we spoke with Zach Byron on this show, Sick and 365 Radio, was the afternoon. Within like an hour after he had committed to Baylor, he was on a trip and a visit. He's been back, and and we've spoken with him a couple of other times before. And now again, Zach Pyron, Pinson Valley quarterback in Alabama, joins us. A commit to Baylor and Dave Aranda on Sick on 365 Radio. Zach, great to have you back again. I know you probably are just now starting to get your legs underneath of you after the trip to California. What was the experience like in the Elite 11 competition? It was awesome just being able to be around um, all the people I was around and compete with some of the best kids in the nation. It was just me fun. It was a uh, fun week full of competition. And just the learning we got from outside of football with some of the people that was there. We got to talk to Dak Prescott for about an hour and learned a lot from him. And um, a lot of other people was there to give us some lessons. And it was, it was just a great, great time. I, I've heard that it's uh, you don't have a lot of free time. They pretty much shuttle you from thing to thing, don't they? Yes, sir. I think the only free time we get is when we get to go change from one thing and then go to lunch. <laughs> That's about it. What was the best piece of advice you got during uh, your time out there? Um, it was it was from Dak. Dak said, "With how the world is today, it's hard for quarterbacks to, to be themselves, and the biggest thing for quarterbacks is to be themselves and not get uh, changed by the environment you're in." When you were at the competition, is that something that's hard not to do because you have so many other names and players and some of those guys have gotten a lot of attention? You've gotten attention, but in some cases, is that trying? Is it hard to be yourself in one of those competitions when you have everyone else around you? Uh, it can be if you're not if you're not surrounded by the right people, but most of the people there were uh, like all the kids there. We're, they're all like they're all being themselves, so it's easy. You know, it wasn't it wasn't made up to like how like with one person there and everybody just thinks she's like amazing and stuff. Like everybody, all the kids there are respectful to each, like respectful to each other. And like, we're all nice to each other. And there's nobody there that was like, really like, like out to, out to get or anybody. So it, it was kind of easy to be yourself with the people we were surrounded by. You have a big chip on your shoulder. You've discussed that before. You have great confidence in yourself as well. You got the late ad to be a part of the competition, and then you couldn't help it. When you got there, you were there to compete and finished in the Elite 11. They na- named you as a part of the Elite, Elite, Elite 11. What did that mean to you? It meant a lot. You know, it, was, it was a childhood dream come true, but knowing that my hard work I've been putting in this offseason is starting to pay off, and it also, it also motivates me more because it knows that, that I'm a top guy and I need to keep proving that every day, and I can only keep doing better, and I can only go, I can only go up from here. What's uh, in the, the last couple of weeks, you know, the, I know a lot of commits have joined the class. I know you are, are kind of leading that charge. What's it been like to uh, 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 lengthen that group text and, and, and expand the group? Oh, it's awesome. You know, when I got there, it started with, I think, I don't know, maybe seven people. It was not, not many people, and now I think we're at 17 or 18. So it's been awesome to see it double over time and just all the, all the new people we've got to meet and, all the new, all the new recruits and commits I've got to meet, and some guys that haven't committed yet I got to meet. It's just building, building some friendships that I have for a while. It's, it's really awesome. Who, along with yourself, would you say is the most active as far as being commits turned recruiters? Uh, Kelsey works pretty hard at it, and uh, uh, Tyler Jordan works pretty hard at it. Robert Stay. I mean, I can't really pick out any three of them because all of them work extremely hard. You know, Jordan Neighbors not been committed a while, but he works extremely hard and. You know, you just go through everybody's Twitter and you can see them retweeting people's posts trying to get them to commit. I think everybody does it. So I think that's what's making this class so strong. I don't think there's one person that's not trying to help recruit, you know. So it's it's really strong class with us trying to bring in the best people we can. Zach, you kind of referred to it earlier a little bit. Uh, we know you have confidence in your abilities, but being side-by-side side with all these guys who may be rated higher, getting more attention, did you did you get the sense like, hey, I, I mean, I'm sure you already felt this way, but did you get even more of a sense of like, I totally belong with these guys. I'm right at the same level. Oh, for sure. After the after the first day, you know, I got there late, so I didn't get the full experience on the first day. I barely, I barely even made the first workout, but – after the first workout that night, I was like, "Yeah, I, th- I can come in and compete with these guys." And the next day, we had the biggest the biggest day was the pro day. And when I'm coming out with the pro day, and I just beat some top guys, score, and I just you know, I, I tied with one guy that's really good. I was like, "Yeah, I can compete with these guys." And um, if, if, if I keep going hard enough, I can make this top eleven, and I can probably go higher than the top eleven. So, Zach, did you did in the seven on seven competition? Were you in a position where you were so hot? 
and so on that they couldn't take you out? It, it, did I see that somewhere? Yes, yeah, sir. So the first day on Friday night, it was kind of like a jamboree day. We got to like get kind of in our groove with our team. So each quarterback got a 15 minute game of running clock. So in my first game, I threw four touchdowns and no picks in like a 15 minute clock. And all we did was play on offense. So they, they try to cut, like find the two hottest quarterbacks to take him to, to Saturday tournament. And in Saturday tournament, it was three games and the best two teams playing the championship. So the first game they played Ty Simpson. He was pretty hot with me. And, um, we didn't, we didn't do too great that game. It was early morning, but we can't really say anything. And the second game is when I got to start. And, uh, we started off pretty, we started off pretty hot on that. And, um, you know, we just kept going and, uh, we almost beat them, but luckily, or not luckily, but how the rules were is we got to, it was like 30 seconds left and we got to stop. We thought the game was over, but the rule book is if you get to the 20 yard line, the clock stops and you get four downs. And that's what happened on the last play is they got to the 20. So on third down, they threw, threw a big jump on the end zone to beat us. But, you know, I thought we played really good that game, and I played the whole 15 minute game. Wow, that's awesome! That's it's kind of like a make it take it scenario in football, like in basketball on the on the court somewhere. Yes, there it is. So, Zach, I saw Sean Bell after the Elite Eleven rankings were posted. I think he he had something like you know just reaffirming what we already knew that kind of a deal. Uh, what kind of feedback have you received from the Baylor coaches about you know your performance at Elite Eleven, the the invite, and all that stuff? Um, they're all just excited about it. They're they're all excited for uh, this upcoming year for me, and then they're also excited for me to get on campus and stuff. And uh, they're all just congratulating me and stuff, and just telling me to keep working. And they uh, this is the reason they believed in me from day one, and this is why we think we're going to be great together. Your uh, father said that you guys got home late Sunday night, and then what did you do? And what time did you get up Monday morning to go work out? So. Um, my grandparents were in town with my mom that week. So um, Sunday, uh, we got home probably like 11 or 12. And we, I spent like 30 minutes talking to them. And Monday, actually, we were off because it was the day after 4th of July. So I luckily have to work out. So I'm not going to lie. I slept a whole lot on Monday just to try to get that sleep back. So we probably got 18 hours of sleep in four days. With how much stuff. Like we were done doing stuff at the week. Like, like at 12 o'clock at night and wake up calls like at 545 every day. Jeez. So it was, it was it was a lot of stuff. So I slept some Monday, and then Tuesday I was right back at it. Woke up at seven in the morning when I practice. There you go. That's why you're doing what you're doing. That's yeah. why you are who you are. Uh, now, yeah. now you, uh, you you get back into. The, are they having the off season workouts at Pinson Valley? Is that what you're doing the rest of the way until school or until August workouts? Yes, sir. Monday through Thursday, I uh, we have practice from about eight to twelve thirty every single day. So we do some like field work, try to get our offense installed and defense installed and we do some weight room and film. And then I might get like one or two workouts in with my QB coach and the, and the another trainer on the side. Uh, Zach, congratulations on the Elite 11. Appreciate you, man. It's always great talking to you. Stay in touch. We'll be in touch with you and enjoy the summer if you can. Yes, sir. Thank you, guys. Zach Pyre in Pinson Valley High School in Alabama, committed to Baylor. And, um, man, I tell you what, he has had a busy time and, and, again, goes to the competition, gets added kind of late, gets there late Friday or whatever day it was, Thursday or Friday, and then performs so well, he makes the Elite 11 among, what are there, 18 or 20 quarterbacks or so that were there? Yeah, I, I, yeah they do like 20 invites or whatever the, the number is. I think it kind of fluctuates. And then, yeah, there's the 11 named at the end. It's I was always under the impression until when I was younger and didn't know enough that it was just 11 guys got invited, and those were like the best 11 guys. That's what I thought it was. And then obviously learn more, but uh, you're still one of the best, you know, 20 or less quarterbacks in the entire country, you know, senior high school football players to be and whatnot. But, yeah, he's he's got a good head on his shoulders, obviously great work ethic and uh, pretty good talent as well on the football field. So looking forward to, you know, him zipping through this last year. Hopefully Baylor has some success and he can come in, you know, whenever he comes in and uh, there's some good vibes and he can get to competing uh, with, you know, Jacob and uh, Blake Shapin and – Gary Bohannon potentially, whoever's, you know, around on campus at that point. But, uh, yeah, he definitely got a good head on his shoulders. All right, 254-339-1122. The text line is 